Here we are. Here we are. Guess what day it is? It is Saturday, which means it is recipe of the day day. And we are here and we are ready to get started with another great holiday idea. I usurped today's uh, recipe for this one because I saw it this morning and thought, oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. So today is National Gingerbread Cookie Day, and so I had a gingerbread recipe ready to go for today, but that is not what we're making. Instead, we are making a apple cranberry crumble crisp, and then we are going to be making a specialty cocktail to celebrate the holiday this week. So um, let's get started. I'm going to start here with our crumble topping for our um, apple cranberry uh, crumble. Now this recipe this morning when I saw it was actually with pears, but since I don't have ripe pears just sitting around, <laughs> I said, you know what, we're just going to make it with apples and carry on. Hey Sandy, how are you? What's happening girl? We're going to make a crumble and we're going to get started. I am actually going to beef up this recipe that I'm using a little bit because I decided um, because we are so, there's only, we're only a family of three, um, instead of making a big pan of this, because we have no one to eat it, I'm going to make two uh, little round you know, foil pans so we have uh, one to give away. So, who's going to be our lucky recipient on that? <laughs> How's my Instagrammers uh, today? Welcome! Um, I am going to get started. So in, I, in uh, the, the food processor here, now you can do this with a bowl. I'm using a machine because it's just faster when you guys are watching. So in here, I'm going, I've got about a stick and a half or so of, bu of butter, because like I said, I'm beefing up the recipe I'm using a little bit to be able to fill the two pans. And to that, I am going to, that's the oatmeal. Hey Destiny, how are you? Hey Charlie. Uh, so we are making um, an apple cranberry crumble today and a specialty cocktail. Um, I've got half a cup of brown sugar here going in. I have a little bit more. Because I decided, when I decided to make it in uh, the foil pans, that I better add a little more ingredients. <laughs> so that's why I had to measure twice here. So about a cup of flour going in there, and then I have a little bit more in here, because like I said. And by the way, you can't have too much crumble on a crumble, right? I mean, yum. Hey, Charlie and Jill and Denise, welcome you guys. We're making an apple cranberry crumble today, so I'm just trying to get all my things in here. Now, I am using the end of my pumpkin pie spice that we made at the beginning of the season, beginning of pumpkin month, um, to go into this. So I have about two teaspoons heaping of the pumpkin spice going in to, yeah, just make sure it's going in the top and not in the filling. <laughs> Get it in the right bowl here. Okay, and then about a quarter of a cup here of uh, white sugar going in, because this is our crumble topping. And then I have some pecans, but I'm going to wait a second on the pecans because I don't want to totally pulverize them. I want you to know that they're pecans, so let's give this a little rumble. How is everyone today on this beautiful Saturday? Everyone ready for the big Thanksgiving? Boy, the grocery stores sure are. Crazy, huh? It's already crazy since I was at the grocery store today. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to let this go until we get some little beads here. Because I can feel we've got a piece of butter in, in there that hasn't given up the fight yet. <laughs> okay, let me look at this and see how close to crumble we've got going on in there. Hold on. Yo, get my top off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, feeling like crumble. So to that, I'm now I'm going to add my pecans because I only want to get those a little bit crunched up so you know that they're in there. So hold on, give another another little pulse to our put our pecans in, and just give it a little a little zippity doo there, and that's it. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of salt. So hold on, I didn't grab the salt. And put a little bit of salt in there. So salt always brings out the flavor, especially of sweet things. So about a teaspoon going in of salt. So we give that a little pulse here. And then we'll be done with our topping. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my gosh.
my gosh, yum. What's your favorite thing and favorite part of this holiday coming up? Oh yeah, Jerry and Rainey in Oklahoma. What are you doing? S uh, S Sandy, are you guys closed down or can you guys have more than your immediate family and lockdown and curfew? <laughs> Oklahoma ha uh, handling the, ho the, ho the holidays. Um, so in here I have um, sliced and diced with the help of my handy cameraman, assistant, handsome husband. Uh, this is about seven apples and I mixed them up half Honeycrisp and half uh, Granny Smith. And I didn't peel them all the way exactly because I like a little bit of skin and a little bit, it adds a little bit of fiber and a little bit of color. So I don't mind the skin on there. So we just chopped these right before you guys got here. I put a little bit of lemon juice on there so they wouldn't turn brown. And then this is one bag of fresh cranberries going in. Another thing I like about this, you can do it ahead and it's easy. And so to this, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of sugar because the cranberries are very, very tart. Um, and some cornstarch, a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to throw an extra one in because I'm throwing an extra bit of apple in here to make a little bit more. So I'm going to put three, three tablespoons of cornstarch. And this just helps absorb the juices from the apples. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I'm not a huge pie lo uh, lover or pie um, maker. Of course, my favorite pie is uh, that bum brumbleberry pie from Rubele in Santa Paula, OMG. I think today or tomorrow, maybe Monday is the last day to pre-order your holiday treats from Rubele. Highly recommend all their things, but their brumbleberry berry pie is out of this world. And then of course, who would make a pumpkin pie when Costco makes the best pumpkin pie there ever was for six bucks? Of course, it'll feed more than you're allowed to have at your party, but it is the best. <laughs> Pumpkin pie from Costco is the absolute best. Well, and so is the pecan. Because if we were having a big celebration this year, I'd be getting both. Of course, I'm, I'm always the one that's like, gotta get a pecan pie, gotta get one, I gotta go on Tuesday to make sure I get one. <laughs> okay, so to this, I've got our apples, the cranberries, the cornstarch, some sugar, and I'm gonna put some ginger in this. So one teaspoon of ginger and I'm going to put just a pinch more because again I'm added a little more fruit to this. Um, oh yeah I've never had their apple crisp de uh, destiny. Hello sister. Okay so this also calls for some orange zest and since I was on the phone real estating at the store looking at the oranges picking the one with the best skin because I was going to use the zest for this recipe and I swear I put one in my cart it did not get home. So if the world had lined up for me today, we would have orange zest in this, but I don't, so carry on. <laughs> but I swear I had one in my hand at the store, <laughs> but I was real estating too. So um, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in here too, a pinch. So we're just gonna do a pinch like this, a pinch of salt. And then I did put lemon on the apples, so does that count? <laughs> but I don't have any orange in the house, so um, that's it. So that's it. I'm gonna mix this up, and boom, we have our beautiful filling for our holiday cobbler. And also, this is also gluten-free. If you have an issue with having gluten-free yourself or gluten-free family members, um, of course, my favorite oats are those gluten-free oats from Trader Joe's, so that's what I used in our topping. And that is, um, you know, what you can use for this and keeps it. It's just sugar and butter and some oats and you're gluten free. So yummy. But doesn't this look yummy and Christmassy and easy? I mean, you guys, seriously, we have a lot of things to make on Thanksgiving. This one is going to be done and easy ahead of time. So I'm going to split this between our two pans here. See how gracefully I can do this. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, oh my gosh. The lemon on the apples makes them not turn brown. Because once you cut them, they will turn brown. So I put the lemon on there because I cut them you know, right before you guys got here because I didn't want them to turn brown. 
and um, they won't if you put a little lemon on there. Okay, well I think we're going to have enough to make more than two here, but I will make a couple. Now these will cook down. The apples will cook down just like pie. I need to pile them high. But I think I'm going to have way too much here. So definitely whoever is the recipient of this one will have to cook this on a cookie sheet. We're going to get them all in here. Slippery little suckers because these will maybe juice over but they are going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yum! Oh my goodness. I mean, seriously, you guys, how yummy and holiday-y does that look? Plus, I love cranberries. So aren't those beautiful? Oh my goodness. So now I'm going to give our toppings one more little zip here. I'm going to push it down a little bit. Because I can see I've got a little dry on top and a little wet on the bottom. And then give it another whirl here. And then we will top our little holiday yumminess here, our crisp. Oh my gosh. Yum! Because I'm not sure we have ever had crisp on Thanksgiving, but this is a new year. New ideas, new year. So here we go. I'm going to top these. I'm going to top one. I'm just going to take a handful of our yumminess here and boom. Sprinkle it on there. Oh my gosh, and it feels a little bit, the texture is a little bit like wet sand, is kind of what this texture feels like. So, oh my gosh, look at that. So yes, you can see why when I saw this recipe this morning, I said, you know what, let's make that. Because this just looks delicious. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good with that pumpkin pie spice in there. Oh my gosh, yum! So, yes. Oh my gosh, delish! And then you bake this, uh, you know, 35 to 45 minutes. I would definitely bake this in this container on a cookie sheet so you don't end up with apple juice all over your oven. <laughs> but oh my gosh, how yummy and delish does that look? Uh, yeah. Now when it cooks down, you see how it's piled high here in the dish? It will cook down. So that is going to be delicious. Oh my goodness. So to go with our theme here, of our apple theme, and by the way, today was gingerbread cookie day, but tomorrow is cranberry relish day. And so and the next day is eat a cranberry day. So see, I still hit the right day with my cranberry apple crumble. So, oh my gosh. Oh, let me show you before I start our cocktail here. I have, boy, I made a mess of this, huh? Um, we made, I'm sure you guys have all seen on uh, Facebook, it's been scrolling by, the Pop-Tart Gingerbread House activity that I've seen go by, and I thought it looked so much fun that we did it the other night, and we had a few of Rex's friends, and we um, made the gingerbread Pop-Tart houses. Oh my gosh, I'm going to pick that up. So I will show you here that we finished here with our two, mine and Rex's, gingerbread houses. And we had all different flavors of the Pop-Tarts. How cute are those? And it was so much fun. So I highly recommend this as a um, holiday activity or craft with your family if you're seeing them on the holiday. Because it was fun and easy and oh my gosh, everyone had a blast. So idea for fun. Pop-Tart gingerbread houses. <laughs> I guess that means they're not really um, gingerbread, but boy, was it fun. Um, okay, cocktail. Focus. <laughs> Get back to the important stuff here. Okay, so we are going to be making, here's your first clue. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Check it out. What's this, guys? Let me dump out my water here. Rinse off my hand. I will dump the water out of that for my serving glass, and I will dump the water out of my shaker here. And we are going to make ourselves a holiday Moscow mule. So into our shaker here, have a towel, hold on a second. 
uh, this looked so delish too. And so many good ideas. This is an autumn Moscow mule. So in here, I'm going to start with our mule, or is this the Moscow? <laughs> is this the Moscow or the mule? Oh, goodness. So here we go. I am going to put two, this is one ounce, but of course I do it in measuring cups. So one eighth of a cup is one ounce. I'm going to put two ounces of Moscow or mule into our cocktail here. Of course, a little Costco size gray goose there going in. And then to that, um, oh yes, much e uh, easier. As you know, I'm not one to uh, do a craft like that, like those gingerbread houses on my own. But the Pop-Tarts made it easy and really fun. It was really, really fun. Okay, so two ounces of vodka, four ounces of um, apple cider. I'm using the spiced cider from Trader Joe's because it's what I had on hand. And by the way, this cider is the best. You stick it in a crock pot with a few cinnamon sticks. Delish. For your family yumminess. Okay, is that four of those? I think so. So four of those, and then I'm going to use some ginger beer. Oh, well, I've got the lime right here. I'll use the lime first. I've got fresh squeezed lime juice. I'm going to put an ounce of that in. I'm going to do that. Ounce of lime, and then some ginger beer. Now, this is not alcohol. Oh, look, I bought the big one at Costco. I mean, excuse me, at Trader Joe's. But that's what I have here. Uh oh, hold on. Get this baby open. Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm going to put two uh, ounces of this. This is going to be a heck of a cocktail, huh? Yummy! Okay, now we're going to shake that baby up. Shake, shake, shake. And we have ourselves an autumn Moscow mule going in our fancy cup. Our Moscow mule cup. We got some Moscow mulers out, out, out there in the audience. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh boy. It's going to be a good one. Oh, look at that. Right to the top. Fill it to the brim with none of that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jaden. Cheers. Happy Autumn Moscow Mule. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Apple cider and the ginger beer. Oh my gosh. Excellent cocktail, five stars. Mmm. Yum. So our birthday shout outs today, I have a special hat. Honey, can you grab my special hat over there on the chair? It's over. Um, I have one of my favorite fans, one of my BFFs. Loyal watchers, dear friends, sent us a present for Thanksgiving. So today I'm going to show you what my kind of friends I have and what they send me, the things that people send me since we started the show. It is do 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 do. What holiday is coming up? I'm going to put my clip down. How cute is that? Get Instagram. How do you like my hat? How funny is that? Oh my gosh. Um, it looks like it's cut off on Facebook, but so make sure you can see that whole hat. Oh my gosh, funny, huh? My turkey hat! <laughs> so happy birthday shout outs today to Leah Moncrief. Happy birthday to you, dear friend and client. Hope you're having something fun to do today. She is usually jet setting around the world, but not this year. So happy birthday to you. And then tomorrow, Kevin Cronquist, great uh, realtor up in. Um, the Pacific Northwest, if you need someone around Seattle, he's your guy. And then, uh, my son! Happy birthday to my baby boy's birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday to him. And uh, it has gone by so fast, but it's his birthday tomorrow, so send him some love. Um, especially if you have his number. Uh, and then Monday is Susan Cicero. Happy birthday to you, dear friend. Um, who's actually my friend Megan who gave me these turkey hats. She sent me three, by the way, so I guess she thinks all three of us are turkeys. Um, it is one of her mom's friends in Atlanta, so, and a new fan and follower. Susan, happy birthday to you. So, um, our giveaway today, I will take off my turkey. How funny is that? Is that just the cutest? Oh my gosh, I love my friends. You guys send me the coolest stuff. So our giveaway today, if you have commented or liked on these um, videos, you are in my fish here for the drawing. 
And today, you have to be local to win, so if you're not, I'm going to put you back in. Because I'm giving away today one of the yummiest things that I have found. I will always share my yumminess of our great town and support our small businesses. Is um, Hill Street Cafe here in Ventura makes the absolute best pumpkin cream pie you have ever tasted. It is so delicious. And like I said, I am not a pie lover, but oh my gosh, this pumpkin cream pie creation they make is the absolute best. So I have two gift certificates today, so you can order one. You have to order them ahead of time. Um, the pumpkin cream pie at Hill Street Cafe. These gift certificates are $20 a piece, so um, please use them right away and go get yourself a pumpkin cream pie because they are delicious. So today's winners, my local people, and if you've never been there, you have to go there. The food is great. It's all homemade. They have the best soups. And they're a small business that we need to support. Please support your small businesses. Go out to dinner. Go out to lunch. Shop here locally. Um, and make sure our businesses are still here in 2021. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Jill Allen is watching. And you are the winner today. So you can have a yummy pumpkin cream pie. They're the best. I'm sure you have to call ahead and get one, but oh my goodness, if you are having a party on Thursday, order yourself a pie. They're the best. And then, um, Julie Fortnati, lucky winner, winner. So congratulations to you, dear. Um, and we appreciate you guys watching. This is so much fun. We have an awesome new listing we just put in the MLS. Um, it's a condo in Ojai, two bedroom, one and a half bath, darling, and unit single story with a one car garage. So if you know anyone that's looking, it is Darling. Um, and of course, we have multiple offers on the River Park uh, condo that we will be looking at. And then been showing property in Ojai today, and we're going to be writing uh, uh, offers. So it is a busy Saturday during a holiday week. So hope you guys have a good one. Visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. Of course, you can always find these videos here on Facebook, Instagram, and also on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. So please follow us there and subscribe because we're almost to a thousand. We're trying to get to a thousand. So visit us there and we will see you next time. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best and enjoy your holiday week, whatever you are doing and appreciate those around you, especially if you have family visiting, just focus on the positive, love them. Um, and be grateful that they're here. So all our best and happy Thanksgiving to you and yours and enjoy your holiday week. And again, send my boy some love tomorrow on his birthday. So thanks for watching. See you soon.